history that a truly fuelless drive that eliminates centralized power systems of all kinds has been demonstrated. Okay, all three of these are identical generators. Small 12 volt motors make magnets spin and there's six magnets on each one and uh, uh, nine uh, coils around the outside. All three are identical except this one's got six, six, and five sets of coils. Uh, this is the multiple modularization uh, because it turned this one, the first one, too easily so I wanted to slow it down a little bit, right? And what we, the other difference, the only other difference, these two both have 400 winds in each coil of number 30 wire, but this one has 300 winds of number 28 wire, and it makes a tremendous difference. Copper itself is a paramagnetic material, because paramagnetic materials cause a certain uh, impedance, because it's estimated between 4 and 6 percent. Well, iron, a ferrous metal, will cause an impedance of 50, 75 percent. That's what all the Maxwell equations were based on, iron cord coils. That's what every automobile's generator is. That's what every generator that replaces the electricity that goes down in the building is. And that is obsolete now because of these. So, you know, I'm going to make a 500 watt motor run and I have a diode to keep. I have initial on each one. All of these are looped together and go through initial capacitors. These are 85 capacitors. This is uh, 60 capacitors. And then they go through all these capacitors uh, to the control box uh, to the thing and I have the accelerator and brake back here. So that's the system. See what you will see. This one says 33 initially, 29.6. This one says 22.6. And this one says 32.5. Okay, 32.5, and this is a 36 volt magnetic drive. So you need a few more volts. So we're depending on these generators to generate the energy into the 1.2 farads. I have a storage 1.5, something like that, which isn't a great deal, but it's adequate to run the motor. So this one already reads 32. This is the first time I've ever driven a 500 watt thing. This was a capable of speeds up to 35 kilometers per hour, twice as fast as a bicycle. And I set records in it way back in uh, 2004.
So the idea is that with better generators, you can like run a car. And that means that you can have fuelless vehicles that have no service stations, no grid, no plug-ins, no big installations for whole national economies to finance. And you have point of use energy generation. So without fuel. So maybe Nissan and the big corporations have this, and maybe they don't. I don't know because they keep it secret. Okay? But to recharge. You see what I mean? That's the old system. The old system, you have a static, you're supposed to be stopped. You're supposed to plug it into the centralized grid. And then from the time you turn it on, it's supposed to get lower and lower until you have to do it again. And what the effect of this is to turn everybody into a slave of the central organization. It can improve, but it's been proven. You saw it move. That is not a tire on it. This makes vehicles go down the road. And it'll make other vehicles go down the road. And you can have bigger wattage. Two to three thousand on the rear of a compact car can uh, do all ordinary uh, uh, commuter and uh, highway tasks. Not just commuter either, not just urban. No, no, these things don't have to be tied to urban. It's true that <laughs> to get across the great desert of Australia or the great plains of Canada and the United States or Russia and Siberia, you know, it's going to take some uh, research and working up and testing in smaller vehicles. But I have every confidence that every vehicle on the road within 10 years can eliminate all fuel vehicles.